the honorable leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank, thank you. Uh, continuing in this same vein, I'd like to ask the Premier um, about the situations of uh, some people who came forward during the campaign this summer to speak uh, publicly about their housing struggles. So one, one of these is a, a man named Mike Sangster, um, who uh, had been in his apartment for 25 years uh, and not long ago received a notice that said his rent would go up by 850 a month when the temporary rent cap uh, ended. Um, and uh, this, this filled him with, uh, with fear and he uh, has now made a move and uh, has left his community and is, and is living with his sister. I, I want to ask the Premier, uh, as he continues to speak about the impending plans that the government has for addressing the housing crisis, uh, what, what about these plans uh, will help someone in the situation of Mike Sangster? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate that. I'm familiar with that situation and many others. Uh, of course, as we, as we traveled the province on the campaign and since, uh, and even before, of course, we, we heard heartbreaking stories from Nova Scotians. And there are many, many good landlords in this province. There are, there are some other ones as well. Um, and and it, it's, our, it's our interest to protect, uh, protect tenants. You know, there's some, some things that there in the Residential Tenancies Act and stuff, but certainly it's our sincere intention to do everything we can to protect tenants from uh, unscrupulous uh, landlords. But we need to really get to the root of uh, what's happening here in the housing crisis. We need more supply, and as we just chatted with the member, but we need supply across the spectrum. So I feel, I feel very, uh, I, I take that very, very personally as well, and I feel that anxiety that they feel. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, thank you. I'd like to ask about a man named Terry Madden. Uh, uh, Mr. Madden lives, like many people do, on a fixed income, and like lots of people, uh, year over year, he has uh, experienced successive rent increases. The last one that came before we got into the temporary rent cap last year put him in a situation where he had to give away his cats because he wasn't going to be able to feed them anymore. Uh, and uh, that means that he's in a place where there isn't any more room to squeeze out of his situation and out of his, and out of his finances. Uh, and so I want to ask the Premier, uh, with the plans that are about, as he speaks, to come forward about the housing crisis, uh, what in those plans is going to help Terry Madden? The Honourable Premier. I, I, thank, I thank the member. And look, I, I do take, these are, these are serious issues, and I appreciate the member bringing, in, bringing them to the floor. I mean, there's, there's, there's programs in the government, rental supplements and stuff may help some people, but we understand that the housing crisis is much, much broader than that. But what I want to tell the member is uh, we take this very seriously. I personally grew up, we're, we're renters my whole life. I've had these discussions with my parents about the anxiety they felt, uh, what might happen to the rent, whether we would be able to stay in the home. And these are real concerns that Nova Scotians who are renting feel. They feel them across the province. And uh, as the government uh, for, for, the, for, for Nova Scotia, as the premier of this province, what they feel, I feel. We will do what we can. <laughs> the New Democratic Party and his final supplementary. Thank you. It, it seems to me that sometimes uh, when the government and the Premier speak about the uh, imperative of increasing supply, uh, that uh, the issue of the immediacy, the right nowness of people's needs is being overlooked. I, I think about the situation of a woman named uh, Fatuma Saeed, uh, who lives with her daughter in Fairview. Uh, she had been living in her apartment for uh, 18 years since she came to this country from Ethiopia. Uh, the building is being sold. She and all her neighbors are being evicted. When I spoke to her last a couple of uh, months ago, uh, she still hadn't at that point found a, a place to live and, and was running out of weeks to find a place. Uh, so I want to ask the, the Premier, what in his uh, housing plans that are about to be brought forward, what will bring about immediate today help for those who are in Fatuma Saeed's situation? The Honourable Premier. What I would say to the member, uh, we're, 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 the plan is coming out next week, I believe on Wednesday. Um, but the plan, look, the plan will be, and I'm sure there's, there's no question that there'll be some feedback on the plan uh, from the members opposite, and that's okay. Because this is, this is an evolving issue, we'll continue. But what I will say is we'll put a plan out there. 
We recognize the immediacy of the, of the needs of people. We also understand that we have to have a long-term vision for how we really get out of this cycle that we're in now. So the plan, we'll, we'll do what we can in the, in the initial plan to address both of these aspects, so short term, medium term, long term. Uh, but the plan will continue to evolve. So we're happy to work with the members opposite, work with Nova Scotians to do what's right for Nova Scotians. That's our only focus, that's our objective. Thank the member.